Hey, this is Josh. I am back with another LinkedIn advanced training lecture. Um, and in this uh, video, I'm going to uh, take another student question. So uh, depending on where you're watching this video, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, you may not be aware of it or not, but um, I have a LinkedIn uh, course called LinkedIn Blueprint 2016, uh, which uh, will teach you how to get an awesome LinkedIn, professional LinkedIn profile that'll get you more sales and help you make more income from your LinkedIn profile. Um, and these are the exact techniques that I use to do this in my business. I have a digital marketing uh, and web design business. So these are the exact techniques that I've been using to generate 30% of my business income from LinkedIn. So um, these techniques work really well. Uh, and students will ask questions. One of the things about this course that's, I think, pretty cool is that students can ask questions and it emails me directly um, when there's a question. So I, what I started doing was taking these um, student questions and making them into videos. Um, so here's my list of student questions. So I want to take one today uh, from Cortland, and you can see it here in bold. Um, it's how do you add, Cortland asked me, how do you add a project, organization, etc., to your work experience? I don't see a separate field for those things when editing the experience section. So what Cortland is talking about, uh, I'm going to jump into my LinkedIn profile, is um, there's different sections to your LinkedIn profile that you can add. Um, and it's going to be when you go into your LinkedIn profile, just click on the profile button up in here the, from the navigation, so right here, and it's going to take you to your profile screen. And this is where you would add a section to your profile to be discovered. Um, this is where you'd add a section to your profile. So you can see there's volunteering experience, test scores, and then if I click view more, uh, patents. Now, there's only a few of them for me because I've already added most of these sections. But if you're not seeing what Cortland is asking about, I'm going to scroll down here. Um, so there's a projects section, and it's kind of a little ways down your LinkedIn profile. Um, there's publication section, courses section, uh, and then there's a project section. So um, I'll show you where that is. It's a little, a little further than I thought down here. But um, so. Here we go, projects. So here's the project section. So once you have this section, um, you can add a project by going here and clicking Add Project. And it'll uh, require a name for the project, what your occupation was when you did that project, and the dates. And if there's a URL for it, you can add team members to it, and you can add a description. Um, this is really, really valuable real estate here to showcase some of your experience and what you do and what you can offer people. So you can see. Um, project manager, we heat mapped um, 19 automotive websites, project manager on a uh, social media redesign, um, website design and strategy, uh, and then you know I had a couple of other people work with me on that. So you can see this area is not only great for showcasing what you can do for people, but as far as LinkedIn is concerned, um, if somebody's looking for one of these types of services, uh, my LinkedIn profile will come up a lot higher than people who don't have these projects on there. So, um, and so you can add a project down here as well. But if you don't see this section, so if you see this section on your profile, you wanna add a project, just come down here and click Add Project. If you don't see this section, what you need to do is scroll back up to the top of your LinkedIn profile, and um, under this section, right under your uh, personal information up here, right under your professional information, there's uh, add a section. So here's where you would go and projects would be under here if I had not already added it. So you would just click add projects or you know add whatever experience you want or section you want and it'll add it to your LinkedIn profile. So um, here's another thing that happens. Once you start, once you add projects, what you'll see is that with your experience, um, your projects will start appearing in that experience. So that's why it tells you to select the experience that you had. So under, um, when I was director of marketing for an automotive group, you can see there are four projects under there. So if somebody clicks this drop down, it's gonna show all of those projects that I did. So this basically showcases your work um, with these companies by adding these projects. So I highly recommend um, that you add projects to your work experience and you can do it by adding that section. So um, Cortland, I hope that answers uh, that question. And if you are interested uh, in taking my LinkedIn Blueprint course, I'll put a link below this video to it. 
and you can go in here and you just click enroll in the course and you can select the option you want to do um, and you can read more about the course here uh, or you can go to redlineacademy.com and uh, this is my online school uh, with social media marketing courses for uh, marketers and so um, you can see LinkedIn Blueprint right here and then there's some other ones. I have some free courses too if you want to check those out. So anyway, I hope you've seen a course. Um, hope this helps. Uh, like or comment on this video if you have any questions and um, if I can do anything for you, let me know. Thanks.